Hey, this is Wednesday 13 from the Murder Dolls and Wednesday 13, and you're watching ESP TV. <laughs> Now, I've been playing ESP guitar since, I think, uh, 1995, I think. Um, and uh, the first guitar that, uh, that you guys sent me was a Purple Horizon. It was just like a stock standard Horizon. And um, still to this day, it's my, favorite, it's my favorite guitar. And it's like, it's the guitar that I loved playing the most. I mean, every guitar that, I, that, that I've gotten from ESP has been awesome you know but this this one guitar just had this magical thing to it you know so it just kind of stuck with me and you know I took it all all over the world many times <laughs> yeah. my signature guitar with uh, with ESP uh, is basically based off of my original uh, purple horizon that we just talked about I had no idea, but you guys definitely still sell the, the Horizon model, but it, I guess it's changed a lot over the years, and um, the newer Horizons, the body's different, the neck's different, the headstock's different, it, basically it's, a, it's an entirely different guitar, like even down to where the controls are. Um, so what I really wanted to do is, was capture the magic of this, of this old purple Horizon that I had with, with the new signature guitar, and uh, I think we nailed it, and there's definitely a few things. This is the LTD. Uh, version of my signature model. Uh, basically, uh, one of the main things I wanted to do, which is an idea I've, I've had for a while, was uh, the fret markers on the side are actually glow in the dark. I mean, I know you can't see it here because it's a sunny day out, but, you know, in, in between songs, like with, with Anthrax, you know, a lot of times it's like, we'll finish a song and then the lights will go completely black and there'll be like an intro sample kind of thing to introduce the next tune. and. It's just killer to, to be able to look at the neck and know where the hell you are in between songs, <laughs> you know? So it, it comes in really handy. Um, the headstock is the old ESP, I guess you call it, what, the tear, teardrop headstock? Is that, okay. So I just think it looks awesome. So I wanted to, I wanted to definitely keep that for, for the signature model. Um, the back has the locking, these are the ESP locking tuners, uh, I believe on the, on the the ASP version, it's the Spurzel tuners. Uh, the strap buttons are indented, which I think is a really cool thing. Um, makes it a hell of a lot more durable, you know, just ripping straps in and out, so that's really cool. The hardware is also an improvement, too, from, from my old guitar. This is the, uh, the Tone Pro stuff, and uh, again, it's just really durable, and, and the control placement is, is uh, you know, again, it's exactly like my, my old purple one, and it's, I just got so used to where, where these knobs are, you know, and just, and the volume knob thing is like a huge part of my playing. Um, I'm constantly, you know, in between the holes, I'm constantly flicking it on and off, so it's almost, I almost kind of, it's almost kind of like a noise gate's almost kind of built into the way I play. <laughs> um, the uh, guitars are also fitted with, with DiMarzio pickups, and the bridge pickup is my new signature pickup. Um, which screams, I'm so psyched on it. I've been using DiMarzio since as long as I can remember and you know my, the Tone Zone has always been my favorite pickup. Uh, just it's an all-around great pickup for rhythm, for lead, for for everything and uh, this is kind of like that to the 10th power. <laughs> yeah. 